Hi, Scorpio. <clears throat> this is your Just Cause reading for February 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for February 2022. In love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for February 2022 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for February 2022 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Scorpio. This is you. This is your partner so Scorpio I want to say that no matter where these cards fall it can be vice versa or someone in you guys's environment for February 2022 the mutual point of interest between you and your partner Scorpio is the Knight of Swords Gemini Libra Aquarius this is either you or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Scorpio, some type of confrontation happening here question and answer session someone setting the record straight someone getting to the bottom of something clarify the knight of swords for scorpio and their partner clarify the knight of swords for scorpio and their partner clarify the knight of swords for scorpio and their partner it is clarified with the hierophants could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone a wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Scorpio, listen, could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here and wanting to set the record straight. You know, this can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio and their partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio and their partner. Clarify the Hierophant. For Scorpio and their partner. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision. But you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see. Refuse to acknowledge. A lack of information. Block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Scorpio, listen, <clears throat> there may be a confrontation happening here. Either this is about commitment because, you know, someone may want commitment but want to set the record straight here. Or is, is even met with confrontation when trying to set the record straight, Scorpio. Or a forgiveness here, Okay. And maybe someone is indecisive or is blocking. I just don't want to hear it. We'll see. Scorpio, you have the Five of Swords. You have the Page of Swords. You have Justice. Hmm. Hmm. 
Your partner has the King of Swords. Your partner has the Five of Wands. What's going on, Scorpio? And your partner has the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. So, Scorpio, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is there is a confrontation happening. Now, this can be about forgiveness or maybe some type of commitment, going into a commitment or finding out that someone is already in a commitment. Either someone is indecisive or blocking here. Scorpio, listen, you have the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one and up, really, one up and one another. Snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Scorpio, listen, you guys could have had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on here, yes. Scorpio, it very well could have been some type of mind games and manipulation. However, you might feel some type of way and you may have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the five of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the five of swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Scorpio, listen, everything has come to a screeching halt with you guys because of the mind games and manipulation or because the tip the tat tug award toe to toe that's going on here, Scorpio. Or maybe you just feel some type of way and you just want to halt everything. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you have the spark of a new idea. You may be initiating something here, maybe initiating this halt. You can tell me that this is passionate communication, romantic passion, but possibly a heated discussion or argument. Or you're telling me that someone started a passionate new beginning. And this is the reason for the halt here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone. Looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Riding past someone's home. Riding past someone's job. Asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research. Looking into something. So so Scorpio, listen, you can tell me it was some type of immature, premature communication going on here, yes? Or you're telling me that you went looking and spying here, Scorpio, investigating, researching. Clarify the page of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the page of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the page of swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication going on here and now you're trying to figure out where to go from here. Or you're telling me that you went looking and spying and you saw something, okay? And you have to decide what you're going to do here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. 
So Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that you want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation, or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. It is clarified with death. This is you, Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So, Scorpio, this is you, but is something ending here, Scorpio? Clarify death for Scorpio. Clarify death for Scorpio. What about Scorpio? What about Scorpio? Clarify death. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Scorpio, listen, you know, you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just, and it may even be some type of vigilante justice here, Scorpio. We got the five of swords here, and you're saying, hey, you know, maybe I want to end it and just move out, move on, and move away from the relationship because you're bringing everything to a screeching halt here. However, Scorpio, you can tell me that they're coming in to right or wrong and maybe we're going to start new after an ending and put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. But knowing you, Scorpio, I feel like you're just bringing things to a halt and maybe moving away from the situation. So Scorpio, very well could be some type of confrontation happening here. It very well can be about forgiveness. I don't know what you found out. Did you find out that someone was already in a commitment? I have to sneeze so bad, like I have to sneeze and it won't come out. Listen, but Scorpio, listen, you can tell me, I feel like you were at a place where you were indecisive, but maybe now you're blocking Scorpio, okay? You don't want to talk. Scorpio, your partner has the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Scorpio could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision clarify the king of swords for scorpio's partner clarify the king of swords for scorpio's partner clarify the king of swords for scorpio's partner it is clarified with the eight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this is mastering their craft Perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Scorpio, your partner may want to come forth with some type of truthful communication here. Okay, maybe wanting to set the record straight because they want to work things out. Scorpio, your partner could tell me that they're coming forth with truthful communication concerning something going on with work or business or at work. Uh-huh. They may be making a decision wanting to work things out with you, Scorpio. Maybe wanting forgiveness here, but uh, I don't know if you're trying to hear it. Scorpio, your partner has the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to your partner being conflicted within about something. So Scorpio, listen, yes, your partner could be conflicted within about something, but I do believe you guys had this conflict, disagreement, or argument here. Clarify the five of wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the five of wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the five of wands for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. 
like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. Scorpio, your partner very well could be conflicted with then and stuck, yes. However, your partner could tell me that you guys had this conflict, disagreement, or argument, and there's blocked communication now. Or the argument was over being blocked. <laughs> Scorpio, you're the queen or king of blocking. You know it. Scorpio, your partner has the ace of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings here. So Scorpio, listen, your partner has some type of opportunity for practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitments. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. And the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or your partner is wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation, to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lusts, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back from something. So Scorpio, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that, hey, they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back. Or they're trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Scorpio's partner. Clarify strength for Scorpio's partner. Clarify strength for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the empress for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the empress for Scorpio's partner. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Scorpio could be dealing with an Aries, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something here. I want to take this leap of faith. I want to set out on this brand new journey. Or your partner is saying someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the fool for Scorpio's partner. Clarify the fool for Scorpio's partner. 
it is clarified with the four of swords gemini libra aquarius this is your partner taking a break resting recovering meditating praying recharging their crystals so scorpio listen hmm. yes your partner could tell me that hey you guys are on a break here because someone took a risk or a chance maybe accepting a gift giving a gift going out on a date something practical here money assets resources property however scorpio your partner could tell me that they're meditating here wanting to take a leap of faith must in the strength and courage here to come in wanting to nurture the relationship and maybe about some type of commitment here scorpio we have commitment here okay my thing is this even though death is you Yes, you could have ended it and decided I just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. But is it because they're coming in with some type of maybe proposal or practicality or a commitment here that wanted to go to the justice of the peace that maybe we're starting new after an ending or some type of transformation, meaning going from dating to engage or from engage to marry, and you're willing to put it behind you? There was a situation that happened, something that you saw and you were pissed you brought everything to a screeching halt but did they change your mind coming in with some type of opportunity with practicality or commitment here scorpio listen i feel like yes we had this confrontation there was blocking they were upset that they were blocked or whatever the case may be but is now commitment on the table and is it that we are indecisive about it making us change our mind scorpio is this person making you change your mind are you dealing with a smooth, slick, slick Rick here, Scorpio? <laughs> Mac Daddy. <laughs> the Mac. Scorpio, this is your Just Cause reading for February 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.